Hi everyone, in this video we're going to take a look at the investigation tool, a feature included as part of Google Workspace for Education Standard and Education Plus. The investigation tool allows you to identify, triage and take action on security and privacy issues on your domain. Let's start a new investigation now and explore how you can quickly isolate and find emails within your domain that may be malicious or phishing, for example. To launch the investigation tool, go to Security on the left-hand menu, Security Center, Investigation Tool. To start an investigation, we need to select a data source. So I'm going to select the data source drop-down menu. As you can see, we've got a lot of data sources available to us to search. In this case, I'm going to select the Gmail log events data source. Searching all Gmail log events will return a lot of results. So I'm going to add some conditions to filter my results down a bit. So let's press add condition, select attribute, and then scroll down and select two. And let's type in a user's email address here who is on our domain. Now, if I press search, it will return all the recent email log events for this user. And now if I scroll down, we can see all of the recent emails for this user. From these results, you can see the message ID, subject, event, whether it's receive or send. You can see who the email is from, who the email is to, the domain, and lots more information here. Now let's scroll back up and add another condition to see if we can identify any potentially malicious emails, such as phishing emails. So let's scroll up a page and select add condition again, and select attribute. This time I'm going to scroll down and select spam classification. And then from the spam classification menu, I'm going to select phishing. And let's press search again and see what results it returns. Okay, so the search is finished, and now let's scroll back down the page, and we can see this user has received some phishing emails recently. If I scroll further along, we can see that these emails contain a suspicious link. We can see the domain it came from, and we can see the spam classification, and that it contains suspicious content. Okay, so let's scroll to the left and select the message ID so we can have a closer look at one of these messages. Again, I can see who the email came from, who it went to, and the subject. If I scroll down, I can see the root, and I can see the raw message header for lots of technical details here to help me verify the authenticity of this message. We can even read this message to verify whether it's a genuine message or whether it is a phishing message in actual fact. To do this, we need to select message on the top menu here. Then we need to give a reason why we're reading this user's message. This gets recorded in the admin audit logs. So I'm going to enter a reason in here and then select confirm. And here I can see the message contents. And in actual fact, it is a phishing email pretending to be from the school's help desk team, trying to trick the user into clicking on this false link into making the user reveal their password. So let's take action and make this user's inbox a bit safer by selecting delete message. I need to again justify the reason why I'm taking this action. And just to make I'm sure I'm really sure, I need to type in delete one message and then select delete. So that message has now been deleted. As we can see here, this user has received lots of these messages. So that works on a single message or 500. I can, do, I can delete multiple messages by selecting this tick box and then selecting actions. And again, I can select delete. Alternatively, I could mark them as phishing, spam, or send to quarantine. It would all be good options in this case. So hopefully now you can see how you can quickly 
take action against phishing messages and other malicious emails. You can also identify these messages using another feature in Google Workspace for Education Standard and Plus called the Security Dashboard, which is also located in the Security Center. The Security Dashboard gives you insights into what's happening on your domain. If we scroll down, we can again see data for recent phishing emails and malware, suspicious attachments, spoofing, and more. Let's look at the spam filter phishing report, for instance and select the report. And then if I scroll down, it highlights any potential recent phishing messages which have come in. And from here, I can select the magnifying glass and again, quickly launch a new investigation using the investigation tool directly from the security dashboard. By launching the investigation tool from the security dashboard, it fills in all of the relevant filters and conditions for us to help us really quickly identify those messages and take action. Well, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching this video on how you can make your domain a bit safer using the investigation tool and security dashboard.